In a land of filming and a time of hunger, the destiny of the cast and crew of a great TV program rests on the shoulders of the young man. His name, Joel. These are the Trafora Studios outside Cardiff. This is where the magic of Merlin is created. In there, they're filming the scene of Merlin. I'm getting quite hungry, working up quite an appetite. And at 1pm, 60 cast and crew will be expecting lunch. And some of them will be eating a meal cooked by me. Making Merlin might look like fun, but it involves long days and a lot of hard graft from a lot of people. When the cast and crew do finally get a bait to eat, they expect their food to be on time and of the highest quality. If I'm to cut it as their chef, I need to be on my game. Time for some advice from three of Merlin's big stars, Colin, Angel and Bradley. Lunch is really important. It, uh, you kind of, you know, you get your breakfast uh, around about six o'clock, so it's a long time to lunch time, so by the time it gets there, people are really hungry. Uh, Angel. Hello. So uh, you're obviously in Merlin, you're, you're an actress. Yes, I am, yes, that's true. Long days, aren't they? Very long days, 12 hours. How important <laughs> to you as lunch person? It's very important. Ask anyone else how excited I get about lunch. I get very excited, really? yeah. What do you look for uh, in a good lunch? Um, I like gourmet delight. If lunch was to mess up in some way, then, you know, cancel the show and we, we wouldn't be able to go on. That's pressure. I wouldn't like to be the, the person who had, who had upset people in the lunch queue. This isn't going to be easy. It'll be up to me alone to cook one of the main courses that the cast and crew can choose from. I'll be joining Merlin's location catering team, led by boss Mark Bunce. At one o'clock, right on the dot, that door will open and 60 of the cast and crew will come rushing through expecting to be fed. He needs to have it cooked and ready to serve for that time. We've made service on time throughout the job, and I want to keep it that way today. What would be a success for Joel would be to have 20 to 30 people having the, the stew. Disaster would be nobody has it, and we run out of lamb. That's lunch, everyone! Lunch. One o'clock, and it's the moment of truth. Time for me to find out if my beef stew will be a hit or a miss with our customers. What would you like? Beef. Just a bottle of beef on its own. I need to take What would you like with it? After some early orders for the beef, there's a run on the lamb. What can I get you some? Lamb, you sure? I desperately need some success with Merlin's big stars. Obviously, you're, you're vegetarian, aren't you? Yes. So I won't be serving you any of my... No good, though. Uh, you seem to be a good job. Thank you very much. So Colin was never going to choose my meaty dish, but will his co-stars be tempted by beef stew? Come on, the lamb. The lamb. Even though the stew looks amazing. You are the little bit of stew on the side. I have a little taste, yeah. 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 It's like a, it's, honestly, it's, like, it's, it's a fine piece of work. I'm tempted by it, however, the lamb is calling my name. Yeah, I, I know, but you've got, I think, I think you'd be... You'd be so, I'll have a bit of both. A bit of both. And a bit of both becomes the order of the day. Most people's first choice is the lamb, but I'm managing to persuade a lot of them to try my stew as well. A bit of both, absolutely. In the dining tent, everyone who is trying my dish is rating it out of ten on two things, taste and presentation. Bradley and Angel, what do you think of it? What do you think? Are you slightly impressed? Or? I'm very impressed, actually. I tell you what, much in the market, I tell you. Market in front of my face, this yes. is, this <laughs> is incredible. This is presentation. Yeah, it does look a bit like sick. It looked a little bit like a dog's dinner, however, yeah. because it's a stew, I can understand why it would be difficult. I'm yeah. give you a, a five. Oh, oh that is... Oh. However, as you can see, my plate <laughs> is, you know, almost finished, or yeah. almost clean. I haven't finished yet. Of course, I'm still going. So for taste, <laughs> I'm going to give you a nine. A nine? Yeah. Wow. Nail fit for a king. There you go. Well, thank you very much. Said it. You're welcome. Oh. Thank you very much. Now, what do you... you, no, you I, been... I have... Oh, no, I feel so bad now. Whoa, a three! I didn't think... I didn't... OK, yeah, it's a stew. How do you, do you present a stew? Um, but it was, I thought it was delicious, and my comment is nice. So. Nice, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Really good job. And I hope you all enjoy the, uh, the hearty beef stew. Thank you. See you later, guys. So, on the face of it, the punters seem happy. But only Mark could tell me how the final scores stack up. 